Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the NJ Podcast. This podcast aims to share stories, tips and insights about achieving success while having fun. From topics ranging from personal development to business, entertainment and sports, the podcast will have conversations with experts and people in their respective fields. The podcast will also share insights from Jabra James's published and upcoming books. The tagline, which is the theme of the podcast, is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. This means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Your host, Jablo James. Brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode on the segment The Foolishness of Preaching. This is where we talk about the gospel of Jesus Christ and how it can make your life better. Before we get started, as is custom, we're going to start off with a humorous story. I hope it's humorous to you. If it's, you don't find it humorous, just laugh anyway and it'll be funny to you. There was a young boy and his mother, they were attending church and the boy was starting to become restless. Keep quiet. God is watching. His mother hushed. I guess God is good at hide and seek because I can't find him, the youngster stated as he narrowed his eyes and turned to his mother. Children, right? Psalm 144 verse 1 is the text from which our verse is taken today. Praise be to the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war, my fingers for battle. This is a poetic depiction that God is a celestial warrior who prepares his followers for spiritual combat. And that leads us to our topic for today. He teaches my fingers to war. When we consider combat and fighting, physical confrontation often comes to mind. We are, however, involved in a different type of war, a spiritual one, in our relationship with our God. According to Ephesians 6 verse 12, this struggle is not against physical enemies, but rather against spiritual powers of evil. Let's consider the David and Goliath story. A shepherd child named David faced off against the seasoned warrior giant Goliath. It appeared to be a one-sided match on paper, but according to David, who made this declaration in 1 Samuel 17 verse 47, All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. That's bold. David may have had fingers trained for a sling, but his heart had been educated for faith and reliance on God. His weapon was supernatural rather than natural. We all know how this tale ends. David triumphed. We come up against numerous Goliaths in our lives. Our worries, our doubts, our crimes, and our past might be scary, even though they aren't nine-foot-tall warriors. But keep in mind, brothers and sisters, that God is preparing our hands for combat. He provides us with spiritual weapons, including the Word of God as the sword of the Spirit, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the shield of faith, as we read in Ephesians 6 verse 14 to 17. God is teaching us how to be skillful in spiritual combat, just as a musician must train their fingers to play an instrument or an artist must learn to make beautiful art. So let's allow God to prepare our hands for fights this coming week, days, months, and years. Let's put on all of God's protection and resist the devil's tricks and steadfastness. Let's fight with divine strength rather than human tactics. Let's also face our giants with assurance, like David did, knowing that the Lord is in control of the conflict and has prepared us for triumph. May the Lord, our rock, who trains our hands to fight and our fingers for conflict, 
give us courage. As we enter this new week, as we go into this new week, prepared and ready for the struggles that lie ahead, let's keep this message in our hearts. Godspeed to everyone. Thank you for joining us on this episode on the NJ Podcast. Make sure to visit the website at the njpodcast.captivateair.fm where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, all the other podcast platforms or via RSS so you never miss a show. You can also find the video content on the YouTube channel and Instagram page. That will be in Jablo James on YouTube and jablo.j.ngosi for Instagram. Please subscribe and follow on those platforms as well. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show, we'd appreciate a rating on the podcast platforms. Or if you'd like to tell a friend about the show, that will help us out too. If you'd like more information about published or upcoming books, visit www.njablojames.com for more information. Please reach out if you'd like to share what you would like to hear and which guests should be invited to the show. And remember, success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal, which means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Now just chill until the next episode.